tragedy struck our family and uh, my dad passed away and he was actually murdered by one of his co-workers. My dad was like the prime caretaker of the whole family, even our extended family he was helping. I still think about it to this day, every day. I still wave by to his picture every time I leave the house. I come home, first person I talk to is his picture. He was a straight A student, star soccer player, and I was forced to go from a 12 year old kid to a man pretty much overnight. I was out working with my uncle. I worked in construction at that age. I started hanging around with the wrong people, older people. Got involved in the gang's, gang lifestyle. Zero to 12, I did what my dad said, 12 to 20, whatever. I did what these guys said. Because I had always been taken care of by my dad. He was very protective. And a couple of the bosses in the gang were the exact same way. They were very loving, they were very caring. If I needed something, they'd make sure they'd go out of their way to make it happen. I've been to more funerals than birthday parties in my life. I lost count after 10, probably about 10 to 15 funerals of my close friends that I grew up with. I lost a really, really close friend of mine who I looked up to dearly, who I thought was just untouchable. I actually took the step to actually reach out and actually ask for help. My uncle recommended that I go to counseling, and I was like, counseling? I was very skeptical. But at that point, I'd hit rock bottom. I was drinking heavily, drinking to cope with my pain. With the help of my family, we found a counselor who had gone through some similar stuff, who had lost his father at a young age. And once I did start opening up to him, man, the floodgates opened. I remember that one session in his office where I just bawled to the point where, you know, you can't even breathe. I slowly started changing my ways. He taught me that I need to surround myself with people that are gonna better me. I turned to the gym. I met a couple wicked older guys who took me under their shoulder at the gym. And uh, they showed me through physical therapy, man, listen, it's, it's a form of healing too. It's like people say, oh, you're always at the gym, why? Because it's mentally, I do it for mental reasons, more than the physical part. So I started working as a personal trainer. And like I said, I love it. I still do it to this day. I picked up a client. He was a retired psychologist. We, we built up an awesome relationship. I realized he's just looking for somebody to talk to. He had lost his son a couple years back. We start, he struck a conversation with me. He goes, you're really, really easy to talk to. And I go, I've heard that before, sir. He's like, did you, you ever thought about pursuing a career in psychology or counseling, even high school, like anything? Looked up the, looked up counseling programs. What's the first thing that pops up? It's Denver. And when I found out that it's right here, and I live literally 10 minutes in that direction, I was like, okay, man, this is meant to be. When I found out I was accepted, and I cried. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. Called my girlfriend right away, told my mom, I'm like, mom, guess what? I'm going back to school. I'll tell you right now, it's the best decision I ever made. I look forward to coming to class every day. My cohort is awesome, they're my second family. Moving forward has just been unbelievable. We accept clients, low income, no income, it's a universal place of healing for anybody and everybody. I've been in the other chair as the client in need of grave help without even knowing it. Helping these clients now, they're coming to me for help. Not only does it make me feel really proud that I'm in a position to help, it just brings me an overwhelming sense of gratitude. After I graduate from Stenberg, I plan on working with the same type of people that I'm working with now and moving forward. I want to work with the youth. If I can help one kid avoid going down the route that I went down, this will all be worth it to me. This course right here is definitely the missing piece to completing my puzzle. All I see is bright lights, man.
I'm headed in the right direction. Finally.